You ever receive a Microsoft Excel document that contains multiple languages and you wished that Microsoft Excel could instantly translate those languages for you? Well, now you can. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to two very powerful Microsoft Excel functions, the detect language function and the translate function, and how we can bring these two functions together to instantly translate one sales language into another. Let's jump in and take a look. Open in front of you, I've got an example file that I'm gonna make available for you to download so you can follow along with me as I show off these two functions. This document can be found in the video description just directly below. Look for the officenoob.com blog link and you'll find the file there. This file is called coursereviews-01.xlsx. It's an Excel file. And inside of this file, I've got a single worksheet with a simple little list. It's got student name, course title, and a review. And if you look closely, that review is in many different languages. So we're gonna take a look at how we can use these two functions to help us translate this content inside of Microsoft Excel. So download the file, open it up, and follow along with me. So the first function that we're gonna look at here is called detect language. It's a really simple function. It takes one argument, just one bit of information that we need to give it, and really all it is, is where's the text? What text do you want me to detect the language from? Let's take a look. So here I've got my review column and directly next door I've got a language column. This is where I want the little abbreviation for the language to show up for these reviews. So I'm gonna click into cell E3. I'll type in equals detect, there it is, detect language. I'll give it a double click. This drops it into the cell, opens up the parentheses for me. And if you look closely, it's got one little argument. They just call it text. Just where's the text at? So in this case, first record, I'll grab cell D3. I'm gonna close the parentheses, hit my enter key. Now, this is important right here. When I hit my enter key, this function, detect language, requires an internet connection because it's gonna jump out to a Microsoft site, to the Microsoft Translate tool, figure out the language and return the abbreviation for the language back to us. If you don't have internet connection, unfortunately, this function will not work. So heads up, if you're watching the video on YouTube, you've got an internet connection. I'm gonna hit my enter key, gives it just a moment, and there it is. In this case, we've got Espanol. Now I'm gonna grab the little, the little uh, autofill handle drag that down to get the rest of the languages here. So really quickly, just glancing through this list, there's some I can read right away. I know what they are. There's some of them that I'm not quite too sure about. So we've got Spanish, we've got France, we've got Japanese or French, we've got Arabic, we've got Italian, we've got Chinese, we've got Portuguese, we got English, uh, and, and a couple others. I'm not quite sure on the abbreviation right now. Um, it's something we can search online what these abbreviated languages are. But try this one out. Detect language, tell it where the text is at, and you're good to go. Try it out. The next function that we're going to take a look at here is the translate function. Take a look. So earlier we used detect language. It took the, the single value, the single text value, and returned what language it detected there. This one, we're actually gonna translate the value from one language to another. So I'm gonna hop in the site of cell E3. I'm gonna type in translates. There it is. I'm gonna hit my tab key. This will drop it in and open the parentheses. Now this one's a little more complex because it takes a few more arguments, but it's actually pretty simple to use. The first thing it wants to know is the text. So I'm gonna go grab cell D3. There we go, hit my comma. The next thing it wants to know is the source language. Now, this is where it gets tricky, but really not so tricky. So take a look. So they do have a list of source languages that I can pick from. But in order for me to select the appropriate source language, I need to know what language this is. Well, 
Earlier, we used detect language. Remember that? I'm gonna grab this cell right here, E3. I'll hit my comma key. So I've told it where the text is at, what its source language is, and the next thing it wants to know is what the target language is. What language do you wanna translate this into? In my case, I wanna do English. So inside of quotes, I'll do an E end and I'll close that quote and I'm gonna close the parentheses. That's it. Three little bits of information. One, where's the text? Two, what's its original or source language? And three, what's the target language? What are you trying to translate that source into? I'm gonna hit my enter key. Give it just a moment. Remember, it's, it's relying on the internet connection, so it's jumping out there online using the Microsoft Translate tool and bringing it back to us. All right, so from Spanish to English, this course was amazing, very clear and easy to follow. I'm gonna drag that down and get them all translated. So from French to English, I learned a lot. Thank you for this very useful course and so on. So two little functions in there. Second one here, we got the translate function. Try it out. So if you're ready to break the language barrier inside of Microsoft Excel, make sure you try these two functions, detect language and translate. I hope you enjoyed the video. You learned something new. If you have, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. I'll see you in the next video.